This is a Marina Afton. It's not just like turning Marina into an Afton, I guess. So, um, me and my friend really like, um, Marina. And we also like the Afton Sarko as a dwarf. Why not turn Marina into an Afton to see how people would react? And basically, I'm just doing this for why not reasons. Basically, what I think is Marinette would dye her hair blue, but keep orange and purple, but still in her hair with a shade of brown on on top or underneath the arm, the blue. That was and her death, she would it would be in the same light like she, she was bullied. And they took a prank too far. Is that her head? It was. Is that the machine pulled her in? Now I wasn't scared to go to the thing after hearing that story. And Marinette sits there alone every day. Hoping to make a friend until one day a little girl comes in who had blue hair and was called Julia. She had blue crystal eyes which inspired Marina to go with those coloured eyes as it gave her hope that she would start a new life free from the burden her father gave her. Except to do that, she would need her father's position, permission because she can't go wandering in the streets alone. Her d- father agreed and let her live a new life. She felt the burden carry along her lighter and lighter each day. And now she gets to live a life like a normal human, except she carries that secret around with her every day of her life. And it scares her, even though she knows it's not real. When she's learned about her hairstyle, her hair colours move around a bit. How she got um, her Kwame is still a secret and Kat Nawad, who is still Adrian, doesn't understand who Marina is, whom she is, or her, or the secrets her father and her mother promised her to keep. Every day she would return home. She would, her uncle, who was not part of the thing, but a close friend to her father, allowed her to go to a school. And that school was close by, so if her, if her disc ever broke, he, he was there. He always... There was nothing ever new between them. 
it was either by thought or by skill. And after Mariner has gone to a simple school, lived a simple life for a good one or two years now, she had made friends with Alia, Alia and can scare, easily scour her opponents. But the burden what carries within her is getting heavier or is getting lighter. She never knows. She feels the stress of what her once father gave her. But yet, yeah, she feels the light, the light of what her father had shown her each day after she died. He said living could be a dream or it can be a nightmare. She never understood. After all, she didn't die around Chris's age. Marina is one of the youngest Afton Aftons, though she died the youngest, and still is. She just carries on her life, not in her, but in her, what her farm, her farm would look like if she was still alive. Each day I felt harder to bear as she would follow her father through the simple steps of life. He always promised her that even if he died, that he promised her the day she died. That he would never lose hope in her, which led her on to believing in herself even more than she hoped. She never understood why her fa father said, I'll follow you to the day I die, once before her death. She always held that thought remaining in her head, but never understood. After she died, she had nightmares every day after for the rest of her life, or well, former life, and she was still dead, and that thought carried within her for ten for years. He always thought maybe it was good to be dead, as her fa as her and her family lived on for centuries before she was allowed to go to the school. Her and her father would fight, not an awful lot though, just enough to make her and her father. I feel like they were mad. She always felt different in the family. Never understood. He, she always would feel a certain way, especially after her death. She lost hope in people. But when she met Alia, she felt different. Like she hadn't awoken herself in years and... She was like jumping off walls and stuff. And each day for the rest of her life, but well, from life to everyone she knows and loves dies, she always would go anywhere with a smile on her face and her bestie by hand.